this paragraph to start down on page two. Well, what I can do is I have three ways that I can do this. One, I can use the keyboard shortcut, which I typically do just because it's so easy. I hit control on my keyboard and enter. You can't see me doing it, but I promise I am. Notice I'm not clicking anything. So I hit control and enter and bam, it moved this paragraph and says, all right, there's a page break now here and we're going to start over here on the second page with this text. Now, if you're saying, well, how do you know that? Well, because all I see is this white space. Again, turn on my paragraph marking, my formatting markings. And now, instead of the soft break, which if I scroll down here, notice, it doesn't show anything. It just goes. But up here, it's going to tell me, you've inserted a manual page break. So this is kind of cool. So this is how you do a page break. And this is con controlling literally what appears on each page. Now I can go through and do this by hand. Or you can allow Word 2007 to automatically do this. Now why would you want to insert a manual page break? Well, remember, if I take this off here, I'll, I'll take the formatting markings. And if I remove this page break, the way you do this, by the way, just go to the beginning here and hit backspace twice. And that will get rid of that uh, page break. Notice something about this my, this paragraph. It's going along, dun, da, 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 and then only two lines, actually a line in one word, shows up over here. And that, you know, if you've ever read documents and books, you'll notice they don't like to do that. They want the ending of a paragraph or, or a section to be on a page because it, it forces someone to turn. It's kind of hard for people to do. At least that's what they tell me. So what Word does is it tries to protect you from having just one line on just of a paragraph here at the top. This, by the way, is a widow. That's what they call them, widows. It's one line. It's left off here at the top. An orphan would be if you had only one line of your paragraph here at the bottom of a page. So this uh, vestibulum, US mod, Dewey, you know, this one line right here would be um, just sitting there by itself. That would be an orphan. So that's an orphan. Widows and orphans. Now, how do you can control this? So remember how I said, you know, you can do hard page breaks and manual page breaks till the cows come home. But that, after a while, you know, you have to be careful how you do that. Instead, let Word do it for you. Where do you change this? Believe it or not, it's not over here on page layout, which you might think, oh, this is where I would do it, right? Actually, no. You go to home and you go to the paragraph formatting dialog box. Remember how I said when we were looking at indents and spacing and I said, hey, look, line and page breaks we'll talk about in another nugget. Hey, we've arrived. So here we can see under uh, pagination or pagination, we have widow orphan control. Okay, It's turned on by default in Word. In fact, it was turned on by default in most of the word, you know, 2003, 2000, even X, you know, XP. And so widow orphan control means that by default, two lines, by default it is, on all new documents, you will have at least a minimum of two lines. So there'll be two lines for your, uh, your paragraph here, and at least a minimum of two lines over here if you break the page or you break the paragraph in half. Now there's some you know options that you can use with this that are kind of interesting. The keep with next means that it's going to say that Word will break a page between the paragraph that you have and then the following paragraph. Okay, Keep lines together if you do that one. That means Word will break a page within a paragraph. So that means, you know what, these lines, I want to keep these lines together. So it will do that. Page break before means that the word's going to break the page before the paragraph that you have selected. So it's just, you know, you decide how you want to control the widow and orphan control uh, for this uh, particular area, okay? So that's what widow and orphan control is. Um, if you are taking the office specialist exam, you might need to know where this is located, okay? Just a little hint there for you. So I don't turn it off. If you turn it off, then you can have widows and orphans. I just leave it on, and that, that works for me. So we go ahead and we click Cancel, and we'll worry about that. Now, the other thing you might say to yourself, well, Chris, you said that I could hit Control-Enter. Where else can I insert these manual page breaks? Well, I'm glad you asked that. Number one, you can go to the Insert tab, and right here you can see one where it says Insert Page Break. It even tells you Control-Return is or Enter is the way to do it. So I'll insert that page break back here. And then, of course, I'll scroll down. And let's say I want to add a page break here. Where else can I do it? Well, under Page Layout, you'll see where we're going to spend a little bit more time here, the Page and Section Breaks. If I click on this, it will allow me to do a page break as here as well. So I just click on it, 
boom, there it is. And again, if I come back here to home, hit the paragraph markings, the show hide, you'll see here's my page break on page two, and here's my page break on page one that allows me to say, nope, I'm done on this page, move down to the bottom. I'm done with this page, move down to the next page. So that's what page breaks allow us to do. So kind of neat, kind of interesting, and just something that you know you might, might want to take a look at. Now, that's great, and that allows you to do obviously formatting. Remember, in our paragraph formatting, I could do you know margins and 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 indents and things for each particular paragraph. That's paragraph. I can also do formatting for margins and indents for entire pages. Or there's another one. You can insert what are known as section breaks. Now, a section break means that you're taking your document and you're separating it into individual sections which can get this span multiple pages so a section could be um, anywhere with four pages and you want to do formatting just on that section yeah you can do that kinda cool well let's see how that works first off notice down here that I have section showing up by default this does not appear the way that you get to see which section you are you click down right click on the bottom on your status bar and you'll need to select section okay so that's what you're gonna wanna do if it's deselected you'll notice down here eh, not there don't see it by default it's not turned on so you'll wanna turn on section if you're gonna use it okay so let's go up here and uh, let's say first off I'm gonna remove the page breaks just to kinda show you this so I'm gonna remove that at least this page break let's say I wanted this to be its own section in other words this part of the text the, on my page this part right here is going to be one section and then down here I want to take the rest of my document and make it a second section all I need to do is come up to page layout come over here and click insert next page section break now we'll talk about these other ones in just a minute but when I do this with the next page it puts the section break and then the new section will start on a new page the next page so see how now I've got page one here page one section one and then I scroll down here and it says page two and it's section two now if I keep scrolling down here to page three notice something I'll click here page three it's still part of section two it's another way for you to divide up your document and apply formatting. Now, how does that work? Well, check this out. Remember I said we can show you how you can change the orientation of your pages from portrait to landscape. Portrait, if you take a piece of paper, 8.5 by 11, and hold it up normally, that means that the smallest part of your page is at the top, and then the longest portion runs down uh, vertically. So the horizontal is short, the vertical is long. Landscape, on the other hand, has your horizontal as the longest part of your page and the vertical. So if you turn your page, your 8 and a half, 11 sheet, on its side, 90 degrees, you see what landscape looks like. And it actually shows you. Notice up here on page layout, it's page orientation. And you come over here, portrait looks like this, landscape looks like this. Now right now, you'll notice I'm in section 1. So I'm going to come down here to section 2. I'm going to go to orientation and I say landscape. Now watch what happens. Yep. Section 1, which is up here on this page, is in portrait, but this is in landscape. Now here's where it gets really interesting. You'll notice that uh, if I keep scrolling down, all the rest of my section down here has that formatting, right? It has that landscape formatting. Well, let's add, let's add another thing to the mix here. So here's here's our uh, second you know page. Let's say I come down here to InHack, and I want to create now section three right here. InHack is going to start my third section. So again, I come over here, I do an insert section break on the next page, and it drops it down right here. Now watch what happens. Now right now it's going to keep the formatting, but I'm going to change it on this section. I'm in section three. I then come over here, click portrait and watch what happens look at that now section three has portrait section two is right here and uh... it's in landscape and then you know so here's section two click in there and then if i click up here i'm in section one and it's in portrait mode pretty cool huh now you might say to yourself okay chris i'm not that impressed 
I could just put this stuff on separate pages and then just take each page and do this, couldn't I? And I'm like, okay, all right, you got me. But see, sections can cross pages. And so you can apply this section to individual. How do you do that? Well, also, you know, also something to talk about here is the fact is so far I've created a new page or started the section on the next page. What I can also do, let's go ahead and go down here. Here's section three. And let's say I want to start a new section in the middle of the page, but I don't want to create a new page or start it on the next page. Let's say I want to start here on Proy, Nib. you got to love these Latin words. <laughs> so I start here. I come up to Create Section, Section Break, Continuous. Now this inserts a section break, but it starts the new section on the same page. So watch what happens. Section break. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this. Section 4. But I'm on the same page. I didn't change anything. And then I click up here. Oh, look at that. I'm in Section 3. So I can apply uh, different things to Section 3 than I do to Section 4. But yet now they're still on the same page. Wow. And that's the difference. Now, of course, you could say, well, couldn't you do that with paragraph formatting? Ah, but then you'd have to select a whole bunch of paragraphs and do that and do formatting. Sections just adds a little bit more granularity. Now, if you are going to take that application specialist exam, I do want to show you something. Um, there are some interesting behaviors with the other two sections that we saw. So let's say we started here, and of course, we have uh, all this section. This is section four, right? Let's say we want to add this section. Now I'm on page four of five. Now watch what happens if I want to start this section and I go, I want to start this on an even page. So now I'm inserting a section break and I start the new section on the next even numbered page. Now what's happened in the past when I did the next page is it pushed it down to the next page. But the problem is now I'm on page four. The next page is page five. Uh-uh, not if I do even page watch this boom it's on page six of six now what's really weird and here's the weird behavior I want you to look at this look at this wait a minute this is page four okay I'm scrolling I'm not doing anything magical here's the two pages this is page six whoa what happened well it went ahead and said oh you want a page six here's a page six now what will happen is of course if I keep typing here and I say, you know, blah, 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 and I keep typing blah, 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 in fact, I'm just going to go ahead and do a whole bunch of carriage returns. I'm going to do insert a page break right here. I'm going to go ahead and do a page break. Watch what happens.